This is a man who just minutes ago was going 536 miles an hour in free fall with nothing but a flight suit. Well, it feels great. Skydiver Felix Baumgartner, after surviving a jump from nearly 18 miles, that's 96,000 feet, over the New Mexico desert. It's his final test before attempting a record-breaking 120,000 feet and trying to break the sound barrier on his way down. The sky was totally black, you know, I could see the curvature of the earth, so it was, it was amazing today. But in the extreme cold and near vacuum, where a drop of water would vaporize instantly, any puncture of the suit or a malfunction of his life support system would mean instant death. Boarding his capsule at dawn, Baumgartner was launched with the help of a crane. Then an hour and a half trip up with his helium balloon to a height about three times your average jetliner cruising altitude. You have to be focused, otherwise you, you're going to die. Then the critical jump. It feels totally different, you know. You have absolutely no control when you, when you exit. So it turned me around a couple of times because there's no supportive air. So there's no way to get off stable. That was the big learning from this one. Then the free fall, just three minutes, 48 seconds, followed by seven minutes with a parachute. His life depended on not getting caught in a spin and on his chute deploying successfully. And Felix has landed safely back to Earth. One of his advisors, retired Captain Joe Kittinger, who set the record in 1960. Now uh, there's only two of us that jumped that high. Kittinger jumped from a little higher, nearly 102,000 feet, a daring jump, in spite of an alarming suit malfunction that caused one of his hands to swell up. Baumgartner has done thousands of jumps from planes, skyscrapers, cliffs, even the giant statue in Rio. His next jump, if he breaks the sound barrier, would be over 700 miles an hour. Nobody can tell you what happens to the human body um, if you break or travel at, at the speed of sound. And this is until the very end, still the biggest unknown. If he succeeds, he would be the first person to go Mach 1 with no plane, no vehicle, no equipment, nothing but his body and a flight suit. Lisa Sylvester, CNN, Washington.